okay so yesterday we we discuss about the content fragment and today we'll discuss about the experience but before that uh, we have to see uh, what does it mean by the fragment so fragment is just useful because we can uh, reuse them on multiple pages and uh, whenever required you can edit them from a single locations okay so that content fragment you knows that uh, we have a content fragment and by using that content fragment uh, we use it in a multiple pages yeah i'm from the same location so here if i'm going yeah so this one is our content fragment here you see uh, this one is our content fragment and uh, this content fragment we are using in multiple websites and if you want to change then you can easily change from the same location from this location you can easily change so whatever you are changing all the changes will reflect in your website as well yeah so this is the fragment and the fragment have two types content fragment and the experience fragment so we'll discuss about the experience fragment okay so uh, experience fragment just like here you see now consider you have some information just like address address 2 and pin number zip number so itself it's the experience that means just like a form and uh, these are the components when you bind with one single unit that is nothing but your experience fragment so you just do one thing uh, once you create this experience fragment we can uh, reuse in a multiple pages you just create once and you can reuse it in a multiple pages and simple experience fragment is a collections or is the consist of one or more components with the layout see it's a mate of one or more components uh, that is com uh, component that means inside this experience fragment we have a layout in a paragraph system that means paragraph that means provide a it's a provide one facility to insert the components if you want to insert the component more than one then by using this paragraph system you can easily add it yeah and uh, after that uh, it's a part of the experience see uh, where your component store your content fragment if I'm going in my CRXD, your content fragment store inside the content folder, content fragment. Okay, I'm talking about the content. Where we can create the content fragment in your uh, DAM. Here we have options of the DAM. Inside this DAM, we can create it. Uh, sorry, it's a DAM is also known as a assets. So here we have assets, and inside this asset, we can create the uh, content fragment. So the same thing if you want to see here we have a content and the dam inside that your content fragment is stored but our experience fragment is stored in our experience fragment folder here we have a folder that is experience fragment and inside that our all the experience is stored yeah so we don't have right now anything so it's not there and uh, this content a content fragment is stored as a dam asset so when you are clicking here just try to open anything like here i have a trip content fragment so just click here and here you see so when i'm seeing this content fragment so it's opening as a dam colon assets okay it's opening as a dam colon okay so it's storing as a dam assets and but our uh, experience fragment is stored as a cq page so here it's the options here our experience fragment is stored so whenever you are creating your experience fragment it will store as a cq page so for uh, so just go and create it uh, so now i'm going and creating the experience fragment so where we can create it so just simply here we have options of the experience fragment in your navigation just click here yeah and just simply create the experience fragment you guys already knows that see our experience fragment i already told you our content fragment store as a dam assets so if i'm clicking here here i have a content fragment how it's storing as a dam assets and my page uh, experience fragment is storing as a cq page cq page that means uh, experience fragment is created as a page and for pre, uh, for creating the page what we need anyone have any idea for creating the page what we need
Am I audible? No, guys. Yes. Hello. This is create content page. Uh, no. See, for creating the for creating the page, we need a template. That we already knows that we discuss these things. So uh, when I want to create the experience fragment, for that I have to create the. I'm clicking here. See. So it's showing the templates. These are nothing but your templates. For creating the page, we need a templates. So you can select any one. Uh, the thing is from where this template is coming. So we give the permission. See, it's a global level. Here we have one config option. It's a global level. So when you are clicking here, here we have the options of the uh, templates. Here they give the permissions of the template. If you want to see now, this one is the experience fragment. Yeah. Uh, now maybe somewhere we have our own experience fragment. Uh, sorry, a uh, templates. Maybe it's a search. Damn, content fragment model. It's not a template. Template is somewhere. It's not a template. Tutorial. Not template. Yeah, so here we have a template that is template type. Just try to refresh it. Uh, this is the template, and I want this one. That screen variation. So I'm just simply copying from here. Come in your experience fragment here, and just simply add it. When I have added, uh, yeah, just just save. Now just try to create it. Experience fragment, and this time we have one extra options, screen variation. So I think uh, this screen variation is already exists. We already give the permission to this screen uh, variation, so that's why it's coming like this. It's coming only five. So if you want to give the permission to your template, so you just go inside this configurations. But now I don't I don't want this out of the box. I just want my own. So whatever I created template type, I want my own template. So how I can give it? So just uh, we don't need to do anything here. Where I where you want to create? Where it is? Uh, this one is our experience fragment. Okay. So now first of all, I'm creating one folder here for the experience fragment. So I'm just creating en folder. Just create it. Uh, this is the folder that I have created, and uh, we know that this is the out of the box templates. This template I don't want. I want. It's taking a lot of time. Yeah, exactly. Here we have options of allow template. You can just simply come here and paste it. Whatever you have copied. So from there, I have copied one template and just simply save and close it. Now this time, if I try to open it, if I try to create inside this EN, it will show only one template. Now oh, it's again it's showing a four. <coughs> okay. Uh, we have given the permission. No, just come here and check it once. Okay, so we have given the star. We don't need to give it because I think inside this experience fragment we have four compound, uh, four templates. So this template is coming. So I'm just removing this four and just save and close it. Now again try create and the experience fragment. Okay, so now this time it's not showing anything. Why? Because of uh, the thing is we selected the experience fragment, but we haven't select the actual templates here we have selected the experience fragment but we haven't select any template so we have to select the template okay so from how we can select the templates oh, i think this is a template i think okay so i'm just going there this is our template just try to copy sorry uh, this is the template just try to copy it come here and just simply paste it Save. Come here. Properties. 
yes done now create an experience fragment now here you see now this time we got the uh, facebook variations okay so this is the thing uh, if you want to give only your own customize whatever you have created so it's out of the box but uh, still if you want to give the permission you can give it like that but i just <coughs> i don't want to give it like this so i'm just removing this simply yeah now i'm just creating the experience fragment for creating the experience fragment we have a template you can select any one so i'm just selecting this v retail name it i'm just giving trip trip experience experience fragment so it's represented like that except okay so now i have created the experience fragment you can just simply try to open it and where it will store when i have created where it will store so just simply come in your uh, crxd content we have yeah this is the content just try to refresh it once you refresh uh, here we have options of the experience fragment go inside this and here you see uh, that folder is created and inside this folder we have the experience fragment this is the fragment that we have a uh, trip experience fragment yeah done now uh, i already told you uh, experience fragment is a collection of one or more component and with a layout see this is the layout and after that uh, later we have the persist component it's allow you to insert uh, more than one components so here i'm just uh, i'm just creating the experience fragment so you can uh, okay so we don't have so i'm just uh, taking one components text you can write it anything taking copy it come here and just simply paste it then when this code is bold i have saved so this is the code we have again i'm just adding some image you can add hero image no issue i'm just configuring so browse any image from here yeah here we have a properties so main heading so heading and this is the button you can name it anything okay and here i'm just linking this hero image with some v details like canada or about us so i'm just clicking this select it and just click okay so this is the thing that we have created so when you publish it no and just try to click in this button it will render to this page so if i click here see it's rendering in this page yeah and uh, the same thing if you are if you are trying with the edit it won't possible okay if you are trying to edit uh, if you are trying to click in this button it won't possible okay so this things we have created now the thing is we have created the experience fragment now this experience fragment i have to deliver in my page in my page how i can do it so for that uh, we knows that we need a component why because of website is a collection of component is a building block of page component is a building block of page that means everywhere we need a website inside this website we need components everywhere so we have to create the experience fragment component first so just come here in websites go it in any website no issue <coughs> okay 
so now here you see now i'm just inserting a experience fragment why because of for uh, taking the experience fragment this experience fragment for that we need a components so just come here and just insert the experience fragment component so this is the experience fragment we have just simply use it configure it and we have to select the experience fragment F but where we are rendering now we are rendering inside our page come here and select the experience fragment here this is exp this is this one is our experience fragment and just select it okay see so this code now it's coming this is the code that we are getting and this is nothing but your experience fragment now the same thing you can reuse so this is the experience fragment that you have created and now this experience fragment you can uh, reuse anywhere always keep in mind uh, this experience fragment is created for the author and this uh, content fragment is created for the content writer that means user coming here inside your uh, content fragment user going there and adding data adding the content but here uh, author is one one of role in AEM if you want to add some information so if you want to authoring if you want to author and fill this information that that means the author okay so it's for the author and the thing is uh, mainly that experience fragment we use for the header and the footer so here you see here my header is not working now it's it's not working now but this is our header so and this header these are the navigations these are nothing but the navigation that all the navigations uh, it's present inside your header yeah and your header is present in your experience fragment later that here you see this is nothing but your footer at the last this is uh, and this footer is present inside your uh, experience fragment let's go and see is there or not so just try to come here experience fragment is go back here we don't have any experience fragment okay so we don't have any experience fragment that means out of the box it's coming from somewhere but uh, if you want to see this uh, when you create your own custom uh, project node that time you will definitely see inside this so here uh, your own project will create uh, experience fragment project and inside that you have one header and the footer and there we have the header and the footer already present so you have to use that one okay done and uh, we have created and we have rendered it there as well and now we can create the variation how we can create the variations so for that at the left uh, we have the options of the create just simply create it and create the variations and we know that uh, our experience fragment is created as a cq page and for creating a cq page we need a template so we have to select the template from here just come here and select it I'm now I'm selecting a Facebook and give the title of your variation so here I'm just naming it as a variation 2 uh, it's a variable just one type of variable so let it be and just save it now you have created your own variation see now just fill the information like image so I'm just taking image from here Okay, we took the image you can write any text so here we have I think inside this we have a text so you can copy it you can paste it it's a content fragment so if I try to add the content fragment it will mismatch so yeah this is the content fragment we have added and uh, this is the thing and this variation we can also use it anywhere wherever you want it because okay, so we have created the variations yeah it's nice here we have this en page just try to refresh it
now i'm just trying to delivering this uh, variations inside our this page come here okay so this is our experience fragment just try to configure it but here we don't have any options so we have to insert the experience fragment once you are inserting we have to select this en experience fragment and this experience fragment we have created experience fragment come here select the experience fragment uh, our template isn't created it's using as a master so which one is our just try to refresh this just try to find out the variations to come there it hasn't created there when i'm just uh, i'm just trying to open this experience fragment i just went here after that uh, this one hasn't created there okay so we have to add manually we'll see it's coming or not we have to add it image we have to click in experience fragments oh this is not a we have to come here instead of this just try to add this yeah so now we are getting this see this one is our image here we have the text that we have added and after that this one is our content fragment now think is here you see consider okay. uh, I'm just adding I'm adding two images here uh, not images I'm adding two text so text one and uh, I'm just adding list okay and here I'm adding a link button okay now this uh, okay so we know that experience fragment is a collection of a components now you like this component and you want to convert this component into an experience fragment so how we can do it so for that for converting we have to create the layout first like the same we have to create the layout just click here uh, insert and uh, we have one layout that is layout container we have to select this first after that once you create this layout container later you have to add where it's gone yeah this is the layout container here you see this is nothing but your layout container you have to select it you have to insert the components and here i'm adding a text text you can add uh, what okay so this is the text that we have we have added the text after that i'm adding one image you can configure it image from here you have added the image after that you can add whatever you want okay so link button it's not showing let it be so this is the thing that we have added in a container now I just simply want to convert this container into an experience fragment so this one is our layout container so how we can create it so we have one button first of all hover here in your layout container so inside your layout container you have this image this text you have this image you have okay so these things i just want to convert into an experience fragment so simply just click here in our experience fragment 
yeah so they will ask for some of the things why because of now you are converting this normal component into an experience fragment an experience fragment is created by using a template so you have to select the template first where you want to create and uh, let it be about this uh, here we have to select now i just want to create the experience fragment in my en page en folder later that we have to select the template i just want to check the here vital yeah and name it title like a uh, two components two component experience fragment yeah now simply save it now your experience fragment is created based on this two com two component your experience fragment is created okay just come here and just try to refresh it okay okay just go inside the en folder there here try to refresh it here uh yeah see inside the en we have created no so here it's created the two component experience fragment so this is the experience fragment that we have created you just simply open it this try to open here you see so this experience fragment is created now if you want to use this experience fragment in your components or uh, sorry in your website you can easily use it just come here insert and uh, use experience fragment come here configure it and select your own experience fragment that you have created yeah this one select it 